Welcome back mga suki So ngayon tayo na sa pang limang vlog ko And the topic is factoring techniques At bago ko simulan ng vlog na to I-shoutout ko muna yung isa sa uh, yung mga taong uh, masugid kong tagapagsubaybay sa aking mga vlogs Yung aking mga kapatid Si Glenna Nieva at si Gris and Matamis Kamusta kayo dyan? Sana okay kayo dyan And of course, the, my students sa Pililia National High School Nagpapashoutout din sila si Jeremy Balog at saka si Liza Joy de la Cruz And of course, ang may gawa ng banner ng aking YouTube channel Si Mr. Kevin Esguera na may ari nung channel na ako si Kevin Isa siyang travel vlogger Marami rin siyang mga kung ano ng mga pinagagawa So maganda yung vlog niya dun sa Thailand So wag, ta wag kayong maingay dun siya nagpropose Kaya mas maganda panoorin ninyo yung kanyang mga vlog Lalagay ko yung link sa baba Okay So tuloy na natin to So vlog number 5 is the factoring techniques So ano daw ang factoring? Factoring is the shortcut for division So instead of multiply uh, instead of dividing or using the long method of division so ginamitan ng mga mathematician ng shortcut na naman kasi nga mga tamad nga magsulat so ayun nila na masyadong mahaba so kaya gumawa sila ng factoring techniques so simulan na natin wag na natin patagalin pa before we proceed on our first factoring technique so kailangan muna natin maunawaan kung ano yung factors okay So, ano ba yung factors? Halimbawa, nag-multiply ka ng 2 times 3. That's equal to 6. So, ano yung factors? Ang factors ng 6, anong factors ng 6? Itong 2 at 3. Pag sabing factors, yung, number na, yung, dalawang, yung numbers na kapag pinag-multiply mo, ang sagot ay yung 6. Okay? So, yun yung factors. Now, ano yung factoring? Factoring is the process na kung saan hinahanap mo yung factors ng isang algebraic expression. Yun nga lang, algebraic expression yun. So, hanapin natin yung factors ng isang algebraic expression na kapag pinag-multiply, ang sagot ay yung isang algebraic expression. So, para mas malinaw, example tayo. The first one is 12x cubed y to the fifth minus 20x to the fifth y squared is equal to pag sabing common monomial factor titingnan natin yung dalawang term we have a binomial here the first term and the second term kukunin natin yung common or greatest common monomial factor in other books ang technique na to ay tinatawag na greatest common monomial factor in, in other books ang tawag lang is common monomial factor. So, either of the two ay pwede as long as nagkakaintindihan tayo. So, first, paano natin kukunin yung common monomial factor? Okay? So, 12 and 20. Anong common factor sa 12 at sa 20? So, di ba ang common factor sa kanila? Or kung ano yung greatest common factor nila, that's equal to 4. Okay? Then, sa x cube and x to the fifth, ano ang common factor sa kanila? So, para mas maunawaan mo, ang x cube ay mayroong tatlong x, product ng tatlong x. Ang x to the fifth ay product ng limang x. Ngayon, paano mo makukuha yung greatest common factor nila? So, ibig sabihin, kukunin natin kung ano yung common lang sa kanila. So, isa, dalawa, tatlo. So, ibig sabihin, ang kukunin natin ay x cube Or in other words, para mas madaling unawain, pag may nakita kang variable dyan na magkaparas ang base tapos magkaiba exponent, kunin mo yung pinakamababa. Yun yung greatest common factor niya. So, that, that's x cube Then, y to the fifth and y squared. Ano ang greatest common factor? So, ito mas mababa. Mas mababa yung 2 kaysa sa 5. So, kunin natin yung y squared. After that, kailangan natin i-divide yung bawat term dun sa ating common monomial factor. 
So para mas madali nyo maunawaan, sige isa-isayin ko muna. So paano natin i-divide? Para ma-visualize lang natin, sulat natin sa gilid. Okay? So that's 12 x to the third power y to the fifth divided by yung ating common monomial factor that's 4x cubed y squared. So 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. Then, x cube, x cube divided by x cube, cancel na yan. Then, y to the fifth, y squared, so mas mataas yun dito, so yung minus mo dun. Yung 5 minus 2 is equal to 3, so matitira dito is y cube. y cube. Kopyahin natin yung sign sa middle term, sa middle. And then, 20, divide naman natin yung 20, so 20, x to the fifth, y squared divided by 4x cubed y squared. So, divide natin. 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. x to the fifth and x cubed, this will become x squared. Then, y squared divided by y squared, cancel na yan. So, therefore, our factors are 4x cubed y squared multiplied by 3y cubed minus 5x squared. Another example. This time, hindi na tayo magagawa nito. So, pwede natin siyang gawing mano-mano. So, common monomial factor. First, tingnan mo natin yung constant or yung numerical coefficient. So, we have 8 and 16. The common factor between 8 and 16 is 8, of course. And then, x squared and x, ang common factor sa kanila kung ano yung mas mababang exponent. So, ano yun? So, that's x. Kasi ang exponent nito ay 1, hindi lang sinulat. Okay? Kasi pwede na siyang hindi sulat. So, ang ating ano is x. So, ang ating common monomial factor is 8x. Then, i-divide natin ito dito. So, 8 divided by 8, cancel na yun x squared divided by x, that's x. Plus, 16 divided by 8 is 2. x divided by x is cancel na. So, 1 lang yun. Yan. So, yun yung sagot natin. 8x times the quantity of x plus 2. Another example, dito naman tayo. So, we have 3 terms here. So, paano pag 3 terms na sell? Ayan. So, kukunin natin ang common factor ng 12, negative 16 or 16, and 28. Ano ba ang common factor nila? So, that's basically 4. Kasi lahat yan ay pwede mo i-divide sa 4. Okay? And then, x to the fifth, x cubed, and x to the sixth. Ang pinakamababa, x cubed. So, we have x cubed. y to the fourth, y to the fourth, at walang y. Ilalagay ba natin? Is it a common factor? No. Hindi natin ilalagay yung y kasi pag sinabi natin common monomial factor, kailangan common siya dun sa lahat ng terms. Since wala namang y dun sa third term, ibig sabihin, hindi siya kasama. So, hindi common monomial factor ang Y. So, okay na yan. Then, i-divide na natin ang bawat term dito sa ating common monomial factor. So, ito yun. So, 12 divided by 4 is 3. X to the fifth and X cubed is X squared. Y to the fourth, wala ka namang ka-divide dyan. So, Y to the fourth lang. Kokopyain mo lang yun. Minus 16 divided by 4 is 4 x cubed divided by x cubed, that's 1. So, pwedeng hindi na isulat. Then, y to the fourth. Plus, 28 divided by 4 is 7. 7, then x to the sixth and x cubed, that's x cubed. So, yan na. 4x cubed, 
times the quantity of 3x squared y to the fourth minus 4 y to the fourth plus 7x cubed. And so by the way, kung hindi ninyo na-gets kung paano nakuha yung greatest common factor ng 12, 16, at 28, gagawa ko ng video para dun sa pagkuha ng greatest common factor kasi pwede nyong gamitin dyan ay yung listing method, pwede yung prime factorization, etc. So, ang gagawa ko ng another video for that. For our second factoring technique, we have the difference of two squares. Ang acronym ko dito is DOTS, D-O-T-S. So, uh, sabi rito, um, A squared minus B squared is equivalent to A plus B times A minus B. Okay, kailan ginagamit ang DOTS or kailan ginagamit ang difference of two squares? First, kailangan perfect square yung first term. Ano, ano ba yung mga perfect square? 9, 4, 16. Ano pa? Kapag variable naman, kailangan ay even number yung exponent. Yun. Yun ay mga uh, perfect square. Kailangan perfect square din yung denominate, yung uh, second term. Okay? Kap then, kailangan ay minus yung nasa gitna. Kaya siya difference or difference of two squares. Kailangan dalawang squares... Tapos, minus yung nasa gitna. Kapag nakita mo na gano'n yung ano, ang given, so pwede mo na siyang i-apply dito sa example. So, anong sagot? Kukunin mo lang yung square root ng A squared. That's A. Square root ng B, ng B squared is B. So, uh, lalagyan mo lang ng plus sign at minus sign sa gitna. Dalawang binomial na nakaproduct. So, yun na yung sagot. Let's apply. So, try natin siya dito. Okay. So, we have x squared minus y squared. Check muna by inspection kung siya ay perfect square. So, sabi ko pag variable, kailangan yung first term ay kailangan yung exponent niya ay even number. Okay. So, 2 is an even number. Of course, 2 rin ito. Then, perfect square yung dalawang term. And naka-minus yung gitna. Therefore, pwede natin i-apply ang difference of two squares or yung dots. So, kunin natin yung square root ng x squared. Ang square root ng x squared ay x. Then, lagyan natin ng plus muna sa gitna. Pwede, nang, pwede mauna yung plus, pwede mauna yung minus. Bahala kayo. Then, square root ng y squared is y. Then, x minus y. Yan, pares lang naman. Minus na nasa gitna. Okay, so yun yung sagot. Next, 4x squared minus 36. Ito, meron na siyang numerical coefficient na 4. So, kailangan, kapag ganito, yung first term, kailangan yung numerical coefficient din niya ay sa ring perfect square. Okay? So, yung 4 is a perfect square. Yung variable is also a perfect square kasi even number exponent. And also, the second term is 36. Ang square root niya is 6. So, kaya perfect square din siya. And minus yung nasa gitna, so pwedeng i-apply si dots. So, kunin ang square root ng 4x squared. Anong square root ng 4? That's 2. Square root ng x squared is x. Then, plus, square root ng 36 ay 6. Then, copyin lang din natin 2x minus 6. Ganun lang yun. Another example, number uh, pangatlo. So, we have a squared, b to the fourth, minus 81. Ang first term ay product ng dalawang uh, variable. Okay? Kailangan yung product ng dalawang variable na yun, yung bawat variable ay perfect square. Okay? So, 2 is an even number. So, perfect square ito, yung a squared. Same with b to the fourth. Then, minus 81, ang square root ng 81 is 9. So, perfect square siya. By the way, pag sinabi natin perfect square, yung kapag kinuha mo yung square root, uh, walang uh, putal or walang decimal, eksakto lang yung sagot. Okay? Halimbawa, square root ng 4, edi 2. Square root ng 9, edi 3. Square root ng 121, edi 11. So, yun yun. Okay? So, kunin natin ito. Square root nyan. So, we have A. Tapos ito, ang square root nito is 
Pag ginawa ang square root ng b to the fourth, i-divide mo lang sa 2 yung exponent. Okay, so magiging b squared siya. So a squared, ay, a, tapos magiging b squared siya. Minus 81. Ano ay squared ng 81? That's 9. Then, copy lang din natin. a, b squared, Plus 9. Yan. Ito, okay lang yan. Nauna yung negative dun sa positive. Walang problema. Another example, we have 16. A to the 6 minus 25 B squared. 16 is a perfect square. A to the 6 is also a perfect square. 25, okay. And B squared. So, pwedeng-pwedeng i-apply. Lahat naka-minus yung gitna. So, we have ano square root ng 16, that's 4. Square root ng a to the 6, i-divide mo lang yung exponent niya sa 2. So, maging a cube. Then, minus. Ang square root ng 25 is 5. b squared, ay maging b na lang yan. So, maging 4 a cube plus 5 b. Okay, so yun yung sagot. Ayan, sa pang bonus na example, mukhang mahirap, pero madali lang yan, kasi fraction. So we have 9 over 16 r to the 4th minus 1 over 25 t squared n to the 6th. Inspect, uh, inspect natin kung siya ay perfect square. Pag fraction, kapag ang numerator at denominator ay perfect square, ibig sabihin yung fraction is also a perfect square. So, ito, perfect square yan. Yung 1 over 25, ang square root ng 1 is 1. Square root ng 25 is 5. So, perfect square yung fraction. T square is a perfect square. N to the 6 is also a perfect square. So, madali lang. Kunin natin ang square root ng 9 over 16. Paano yun? So, kunin lang natin square root ng 9. That's 3. Square root ng 16 is equal to 4. Square root ng r to the 4th power is r squared minus 1 over 25. So, square root ng 1 is 1. Square root ng 25 is 5. Square root ng t squared is t. And this will become n cubed. Tapos, kopyin lang din natin. Gawin natin plus nasa gitna. Pagka-share na lang natin to dito, we have 3 4 r squared plus 1 over 5 t n cube. Kasya ba? Ayan, so kasya naman. So, next example. So, the third factoring technique that I'm going to talk about is the sum and difference of two cubes. Ang uh, acronym na ginamit ko dito ay Ang basa ko diyan eh. Sa dot k k k k k. Joke lang. So, sa dot c. Okay, so, anong sinasabi diyan So, ginagamit siya kapag ka, uh, may binomial tapos naka-raise sa cube. Sa third, sa third power. Okay, so, paano mo siya i-factor? Okay? So, the factor of a plus b quantity cube is equal to a plus b a plus B, ano yun? Yung ano lang, kung ano lang yung laman ng uh, parenthesis, A plus B. Tapos, meron tayong trinomial na kasunod. We have, uh, yung first term gagawin natin square. I-square natin yung A. Then minus, product ng A at B. Product nila. Plus, square ng B. Or then second term. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple. Pag minus na may nasa gitna, so, ang gagawin natin, copy natin, A minus B, yun yung unang binomial. Sunod yung trinomial, lahat positive na. Okay? So, we have, uh, square natin yung first term, kapalas lang dun sa una, then product ng first and second term, then square of the second term. Okay? So, para madaling tandaan, o, oh, para mas madaling tandaan, kapag plus yun nasa gitna, plus yun nasa unahan, may minus dun sa gitna, dito sa trinomial. Kapag minus yun nasa gitna dito, minus yun nasa gitna dun sa binomial, 
Then, plus lahat, walang minus dito dun sa trinomial. Okay? Okay, okay? Sa so, example tayo. We have x plus 2, quantity cube. Our a, or yung first term natin is x, ang second term natin is 2. Anong unang gagawin? Copyin lang natin yung laman nito. So, we have x plus 2. And then, product, ah, yung trinomial, sa trinomial na tayo, anong unang gagawin? I square yung first term. Anong first term? X. So, square lang natin yun. And then, kung plus yun nasa gitna, so, ibig sabihin, maglalagay ako ng minus dito. Minus, anong ima-minus? Product nung, nung first term at saka ng second term. So, that's 2X. Then, plus, square ng second term, we have 4. So, yan na po yung sagot. Napakasimple. Another example, we have 2X minus 5, quantity cube. Okay, anong first step? Minus yung nasa gitna. Tingnan nyo yun. Minus nasa gitna. Ito yung susundin natin. So, anong gagawin? Copyin lang natin yung A minus B. So, we have... A, ano yung A minus B yung first term? 2X minus 5. Kopyahin lang. Then, gagawin na natin trinomial. Pag, sabi ko, pag minus yung nasa gitna, plus na lahat yung nasa loob ng trinomial. So, we have, square the first term. That will be 4X squared. Then, plus... Product ng dalawa lang, we have 2x times 5 is 10x. And the square of second term is 25. Ito na yung sagot. Napakadali. Another example, a squared plus b, quantity cube. Medyo kakaiba yung itsura nito kasi yung first term ay may square na. Pero kahit ano pa man, ang naging itsura niya, as long as pumasok siya dun sa rule, so, stick to the rule. Okay? But ang titingnan lang natin, basta siya ay binomial, whether plus or minus na sa gitna, ay okay lang, at naka-cube siya. Okay? So, copy lang natin na sa loob. We have a squared plus b. Tapos, tapos sa trinomial na tayo. Kung sabi ko, kung plus na sa gitna, May minus sa middle term dito sa, sa uh, trinomial. So, we have square of the first term. Ano ang square ng a to the fourth? Ay, a squared. So, a squared, squared is equal to, imamultiply mo lang yan, 2 times 2. Naging a to the fourth lang yan. Ganun lang yun. So, naging a to the fourth. a to the fourth nga, ibang kulit naman. Plus, plus ba o minus? So, minus kasi... Pag plus yun nasa gitna, may minus sa middle term. Product ng dalawa, we have a squared la a squared b. Then, square the second term, we have plus b squared. So, yun yung sagot. Simple, simple. Next example.